Yeah. Thank the member. The question is that the proposed expenditure be agreed to, and I'll call the member for Deakin. Thanks very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Um, uh, in October, the uh, NDIS minister announced a review of the NDIS to improve the wellbeing of Australians with disability and the scheme's sustainability, as we now find out. Uh, the independent review, we're told, was established to look at the design, operations and sustainability of the NDIS, uh, even though the uh, then uh, Shadow Minister uh, never claimed that there were any issues with sustainability and indeed uh, criticised the government of the day for talking about the sustainability of, of the NDIS. So NDIS participants and taxpayers uh, eagerly want to hear how the government would specifically tackle the worsening challenges by the um, uh, NDIS and sadly um, have been left none the wiser following uh, the Minister's address to the Press Club in April. In Senate estimates we learned that the NDIS was not consulted. A stunning admission in Senate estimates was not consulted regarding the imposition of the arbitrary annual NDIS growth cap of 8 per cent. The government came to the conclusion that the annual growth cap in the total costs would be no more than 8 per cent by 1 July 2026 without any explanation of how these cuts to the growth of the scheme would be achieved and, indeed, uh, who would lose out as a result of those cuts. The independent review panel is to deliver a final report to disability reform ministers by no later than the end of October 2023, yet tw 12 months down the track. The Labor government has shown no signs of progress or findings, um, sadly leaving hundreds of thousands of participants in, in, in limbo and in fear of losing access to their funding under the scheme, particularly uh, families with a child with a, uh, di an autism diagnosis. Since coming into government, gov Labor has made a serious habit of outsourcing problems, and in this case, uh, it seems that the independent review is doing all the heavy lifting. Since the announcement of the review, the government and minister has used the review, review, the reviewers' cover repeatedly for inaction. All we've heard is the minister making his usual motherhood statements, identifying issues, and never offering any solutions. It was announced that the head of the NDIS Review Secretariat, Mr James Kelly, a highly respected and regarded Treasury public servant, would lead the Review Secretariat. So my questions for the Minister uh, in relation to PM and CR are as follows. Please outline the selection process that led to Mr Kelly's appointment to the NDIS Secretariat. Mr Kelly is no longer leading the Secretariat, leaving uh, very unexpectedly and surprisingly in March this year. What are the events that led to Mr Kelly's departure from the Secretariat after only eight months? Who decided that Mr Kelly would be leaving his role within the NDIS Review Secretariat? Did the review co-chairs have any involvement with Mr Kelly's departure? And please outline any of that involvement. Was Mr Kelly given the opportunity to remain in his role within the Secretariat? Please outline the process which led to the selection of Mr Kelly's replacement, Mr David Hazelhurst. How many public servants are working with the review and what are their APS band levels? What appropriation has been provided for the review? Please, break down a, please provide a breakdown of the costs associated also with the review. We're told the review is due to report in October 2023. Is it still on target to report uh, in that time frame? As of the 1st of June, how many submissions have been received by the Secretariat? Pre please provide a breakdown of the uh, submission types between written audio and video. As of the 1st of June, how many direct consultations have been held and how uh, many are still to be held before the review is set to conclude? For each of the consultations, please also provide details of where, the venue, the number of attendees that, have, that were involved. As of the 1st of June, how many NDIS webinars have taken place? How many participants have taken part in each of the webinars? Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, as you can see from all of these questions, uh, precious little is known at this stage around uh, the staffing of the review and indeed the circumstances uh, of Mr James Kelly's departure from the review. Uh, we want answers. 
uh, and we want confirmation that the review of which so much is being relied upon by the government is set to uh, deliver its findings by October this year as promised. I thank the member. The question is that the proposed expenditure be agreed.